Two easy ways to create a solid foundation for your evergreen business. An evergreen business will bring you profits no matter the year or season. Your product will still be relevant even if you first released it to the public several years ago. But how do you go about making sure you've got a solid foundation for your business? Stay tuned because this is what you'll learn in today's presentation. Tip number one, do your homework. There are many kinds of evergreen businesses you can go into. For example, there will always be people wanting to know how to lose weight, gain weight, stop smoking, make money online, how to improve themselves, and so much more. You can target these niches. Though some may say these niches are saturated, it's not always the case. If you do your research, you'll find an angle that not many people are talking about or writing about. You'll find long-tailed keywords that may not get a lot of searches. But the people who do search for these keywords are those who know exactly what they want. For example, in the weight loss niche, you don't want to target the keywords weight loss. You'll have tons of competition. Instead, what you can do is target keywords like how can a former athlete lose weight or how to lose 100 pounds in one year or something like that. You just need to be really creative and you need to use the right tools to find these golden keywords so you can target them in your evergreen product. Tip number two, promote your business online or offline. So you've done your homework and published an awesome long form evergreen article. But months later, you're still hearing crickets. No one's been on your site. There are many ways to get people to your website. You can either do online or offline advertising. You won't get to the top of Google immediately. So if you want people to come visit your site, you need to reach out to them. You just need to do some promotion to get an initial boost. Once you gain traction, the search engines will take note of your traffic and you'll eventually see your site ranking on search engines. This means free and organic traffic for your business. And since your article or product is evergreen, people will be reading and buying it for years to come. Once this happens, you know you successfully created a solid foundation for your evergreen business. Three major reasons you need to diversify your traffic sources. Traffic is the lifeblood of any online business. If you don't have traffic, your business is dead in the water. If you've got just one source of traffic, you're skating on very thin ice. In this presentation, you're going to find out why you should never depend on a single source of traffic and why traffic diversity is important to your business. Let's begin. Reason 1. Less risk for your business. Getting traffic to your website can either be easy or hard. Easy if you pay for advertising and hard if you wait for your website to rank on search engines. Most small website owners usually do it the hard way. They'd work hard on their site's SEO, hoping to eventually rank on Google. Once they rank on Google, then they consider it to be a great success. But what happens when they drop off of Google? They'd panic. They'd lose all their business in a single day. And this is why you never want to put all your eggs in one basket. Diversifying your traffic means you spread the risk. If you ever lose your first page spot on Google, you'll still survive because you have traffic coming in from other sources. Yes, you may lose considerable traffic, but at least you're not going back to zero. Reason number two, you can find new traffic sources. Find out where your target audience is hanging out. If they're on Facebook, target them on Facebook. If they're on Snapchat, Reddit, or any other social media or forum, go after them. Don't wait for them to find you on Google. The good thing about always looking for ways to reach your audience is you might stumble upon a traffic source that your competitors might not yet know about. When you find one, you've literally found a gold mine and you can milk it all you want. Reason three, enhance your brand presence. If you're bringing in people from Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, Instagram, Pinterest, or any other traffic source, then you're basically announcing to the world that you've got an excellent online presence. If people know they can get to you in many different channels, then that's a good thing. It makes you look trustworthy. It makes you appear as an authority in your niche and it enhances your brand presence. Three things you need to do before you work on your evergreen course. In this presentation, you're going to learn the top three things you need to do before you start working on your evergreen course. Number one, identify the pain points you want to address in your course. If you want your evergreen course to sell, you need to know what pain points or problems you're going to address in your course. Without it, your course is nothing. You can start by doing some in-depth research on your topic and narrowing down the pain points you want to address. Check out what your competitors are doing. If possible, try to use an angle to make your course stand out from the rest. You may be selling a similar product to your competitors. 
But if you're working on a specific angle, then you can use that as a selling point. You can even confidently say that your course is the only course that's addressing that particular angle or pain point. Number 2. Identify your audience. Knowing your audience is important for your course's success. It can literally make or break your course. For instance, if you're targeting people who are trying to stop smoking, then you can narrow down your audience by reading up on the latest research on smoker demographics. If your course is specifically targeted to women smokers, then make sure your course accurately targets them. The narrower your course's focus or scope, the better you can address your audience's pain points. If you're targeting a broader group of people, chances are some details in your course may not be a fit for a certain percentage of your audience. Identifying the right audience is a must, so you can tailor make your course especially for this group. Number 3. Identify the best course format for your audience. Your Evergreen course can come out in many different formats ebook, video, audio, etc. Find out what your audience is like. Go by the previous examples. If you're targeting women smokers, then an ebook may be fine. However, if you're targeting older women, then a video may be a better option. Alternatively, you can also consider using different types of media and packaging it into your course so that your audience can pick and choose the media they want to consume. This means that those who like to read can simply read your course ebook, and those who dislike reading can either watch your video or listen to your audio recording. 4 Quick Ways to Become a Trusted Social Influencer in Your Niche People follow and trust influencers. If you want to become a social influencer, then you're in luck, because in today's presentation you're going to be learning 4 quick ways you can become a trusted influencer in your niche. Number 1. Find your focus. Before you can become an influencer, you need to identify first what you want to be known as an expert or influencer in. Knowing which niche or industry to focus on makes it easier for you to establish a solid reputation. Do you want to be a fashion influencer, a marketing influencer, a cat expert? What? List down the favorite things you like talking about, weigh the pros and cons, and choose the one that comes out on top. Number 2. Share Valuable Content Bringing a lot of value to your audience will mean so much to them, and will help you stand out from all the other people they follow. Too many so-called influencers expect a lot in return too soon, so you need to do something different. Get value first, and plenty of it, before asking for anything in return. Many of your followers will feel indebted to you and when you ask them to return the favor, for example by asking them to visit a website or download an app, they'll be more likely to do as you say. By giving them value, they'll be more willing to follow your calls to action now and in the future. Number 3. Engage with other influencers Know other influencers in your niche and network with them. Share your valuable content with them. If your fans recognize the value you bring to the table, Chances are your peers will also recognize the same value. So don't be shy. Reach out to them and they may be happy to share your valuable content with their audience. Number 4. Engage with your fans and followers. If you're engaging with other influencers, then you should also be engaging with your fans and your followers. After all, these are the people you want to be influencing someday. Make yourself available to your followers. If they ask questions, answer them back promptly. They'll be grateful and they'll tell their friends about you, which will bring in even more followers to your network. So, don't be a snob. Instead, reach out and befriend your followers. 4 Reasons You Should Create an Evergreen Business Model In today's presentation, you're going to be learning 4 of the biggest reasons why you should consider creating an evergreen business model. Number 1. You'll get a steady stream of income all year long. An evergreen tree stays fresh and green all year long, even in winter. An evergreen business model is the same. Your sales won't tank on non-holidays. Rather, you get a steady stream of income whether it's the holidays or not. It's true some niches thrive particularly well during certain holidays like Christmas or Thanksgiving. But once the holidays are over, sales plummet to zero. Now, your evergreen business may not have a dramatic increase in sales during holidays, but at least you get a nice steady stream of income no matter the time of year. Number 2. You're running a hands-free business If you set up and market your evergreen product correctly, you can expect year-round income. This means that you're literally going to do the hard work once, and then reap the profits for years to come. In other words, you're getting passive income from your evergreen product. Who wouldn't want this business model? It's awesome, right? Number 3. You don't need to adjust to trends all the time 
With non-evergreen products or businesses, you're always on the lookout for the latest trends. If you're in the IT business, you'd need to adapt your technology every time something new comes out, otherwise you'll end up with outdated stuff. With an evergreen product, you don't need to bother yourself with what's trending and what's making the headlines buzz. Of course, you can update your product from time to time, but at least you're not going to be making changes every month or so. You can update your evergreen product's cover image or maybe even update the product's website, but the core product can remain the same for years. Number 4. You can focus on other parts of your business. If your evergreen business can run on its own even without your intervention, then you can use your free time to pursue your other interests. You can create even more evergreen products if you want. The more evergreen products you have, the more passive sources of income you get. Eventually, you may no longer need to work and still have money coming in. Now that's something to look forward to. 5 Easy Ways to Build Your Email List Quickly Successful internet marketers will tell you that their email list plays a significant role in their success. With an email list, they can simply write a short email to their subscribers, recommend a product, and get sales in minutes. And in today's presentation, you're going to learn exactly how the pros build their email list quickly. Number 1. Give away a valuable freebie People love free stuff, but don't just give away any free stuff. If you're hoping to attract people to sign up to your list, don't give them a generic and outdated ebook or video course that everyone else is offering for free. Do your best to offer something of value, something that you know people will love and will actually find useful. Number 2. Offer content upgrades Content upgrades are usually added to value posts and articles. For instance, if you wrote a 5,000-word how-to article, you might want to add a checklist or even a more in-depth article on the subject and use that as a content upgrade. If people want to download the checklist or an in-depth article, they'd have to use their email address to unlock it. Number 3. Add opt-in forms to strategic areas on your website Don't just put your email opt-in form in your website's footer. Instead, put it in strategic places. You may want to have a pop-up appear after people have been on your website for 5 or 10 seconds. You can also add it in other non-intrusive places like at the middle or end of your blog posts, your sidebar, and yes, even the footer. Number 4. Use social media Promote your content on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. When you offer people something of value, they'll be curious about you and what other things you can do for them. So if you're promoting a tutorial on making money online, then you can ask people to sign up to your list so they'll receive your updates in real time. Don't forget to ask people to share your content. It's free advertising for you and you're bound to get even more email subscribers. Number 5. Promote a contest A contest is a good way to get people to sign up to your list. You don't have to give away something expensive, but you do have to offer something that's interesting or useful to your target audience. Think outside the box. You just may be surprised at how quickly your email list grows. 5 Reasons Why Branding Is So Important For Your Success In today's presentation, you're going to learn what branding is and why it is essential to your success. What exactly is branding? Branding is essentially the mental picture you want to leave in your target audience's mind. It's a combination of many different factors such as your brand name, your logo, your business tagline, your brand colors, even the font type you use for your logo and tagline. It is what you want people to remember your company by, something that will make your brand stand out from the competition. Why is branding important for your business? Number 1. It creates a sense of trustworthiness. When people see your brand in many places, it creates a sense of familiarity. And the more familiar people are with your business, the more they trust you. If you portray your business as fun, then people will trust that you are indeed fun. If your marketing efforts depict your brand as a reliable brand, then people's mental image of your brand will be your reliability and trustworthiness. Number 2. It creates new customers. When people see your advertisements and they like what they see, they'll most probably end up as your customers. They'd imagine themselves being in your commercial or advert, and they'd have a feeling that they're missing out simply because they are not yet your customers. For instance, if you have a luxury brand, then your target audience would hate to miss out on the luxuries you can offer them. Number 3. It makes you relatable to people. Before you even begin your marketing activities, you should know who your ideal target customers are. 
When you know who they are, it becomes much easier for you to create adverts that they will be able to relate to. Being relatable means that there is a higher probability they will buy from you. Number four, it makes you memorable. When you make your brand relatable to people, it makes perfect sense it will also end up being memorable to them. When they see your brand or logo, they'll remember the advert that spoke directly to them, and they'll be more likely to buy from you than your competitors. Number five, it will help grow your business. Being a trustworthy and memorable brand will directly lead to your business getting sales. The more profit you have, the faster you can scale your business, all thanks to a successful branding campaign. How repurposing your content helps you get more followers. In today's presentation, you're going to learn why you shouldn't stop at just publishing your content in one place and why you should consider repurposing it to get more followers. What is repurposed content? This is basically content that you recycle into other formats. For example, if you have a popular blog post, you may want to create a video tutorial or a podcast about it. You can also make infographics or slide decks out of your old posts. What are the benefits of repurposing content? Number one, it gives your old content new life. You do a lot of research before you write blog posts. If you're running out of ideas, you can simply reuse the old materials you've worked on and give it new life. This is extremely useful as it means you only do the research once, but you can keep creating many different formats for the same amount of research. You can consider repurposed content as the content that keeps on giving, as it's literally giving you multiple chances to get more eyes on your content. Number two, you can reach new people on other platforms. If you only publish blog posts, then your reach is limited to people who visit your website. But if you repurpose your content to, say for example, videos, then people on YouTube will be able to consume your content too. If you create an infographic from your blog post content, then you can reach people who love infographics. Having different formats for your content gives your followers many different ways to link to your content, which is awesome for SEO. They have the option to link to your post, to your YouTube video, to your podcast, to your infographic, and more. Number three, you can increase your online presence. You can establish a solid online presence just from a single blog post. Once it's been repurposed into the video, podcast, graphics, infographic, or any other format you prefer, you'll literally have your content in a dozen different places. Now, imagine if you had many valuable articles that you can repurpose. You'll be able to present yourself as an authority in your niche. And as an authority, you will be a follower magnet. New people will be following your blog, your YouTube channel, your podcast, etc. Once people discover you're in several places, they'll look you up and follow you on those other platforms too. How to create valuable content that matters to your audience. There's no question about it. Content is king. Whether your content comes in text, video, image, or audio format, if what you have to say is valuable, people are going to love you. In today's presentation, you're going to learn how to create valuable content that matters to your audience. Listen to what your audience wants. Look for where your audience hangs out, whether it be on social media, on forums, or on popular websites. Seek them out and learn all about their problems. Try to address their biggest pain points. Write it all down and do your best to answer their problems. Make it personal, so when they read your content, it will feel like you're talking directly to them. Make your content easy to consume. You can write the most in-depth article that solves a very specific problem. You know it's going to help a lot of people. But if you make your content hard to read, then chances are people are not going to want to read it. Knowing who your audience is plays a crucial role as it allows you to create content that people can relate to and understand. If your content is targeted towards regular people, then try not to use difficult words that won't make sense to them. Instead, use simple language so they can easily understand it. Additionally, try to avoid writing blocks of text. Use plenty of white space. Use bullet points and headers to make your content easy on the eyes. Your audience will thank you for it. Make your content actionable. Don't leave your audience hanging. Tell your audience what you do in your content. Don't leave them confused. Spell it out if you have to. If you know a particular product is going to help address a pain point, then ask them to click on the link or download the product so it can help them. Lastly, know where your audience hangs out. You want people to read your valuable content, right? If you're waiting for them to find you on Google, you may wait a very, very long time. So go out where your audience is and let them know about your content. And don't forget to ask them to share it with other people who can also benefit from your solution. 
Top 3 Evergreen Niches to Build Your Online Business On There are many evergreen niches you can build your business on. In today's presentation, you are going to learn about the top 3 niches you need to focus on if you want your online business to flourish for years to come. Number 1. Health Niche People will always look for solutions to their weight problems, height problems, skin problems, and many other health issues. Thin people would look for ways to gain weight, and when they become overweight, they look for ways to lose weight quickly. As the health niche is vast, you can look for a sub-niche where not too many people are offering a solution to a specific problem. Once you find the right sub-niche, you can offer health supplements, health food, healthy recipes, ebooks, videos, exercise videos, and more. Since it's an evergreen niche, people will be buying your product years after you've published or released your product. Number 2. Wealth Niche just like the health niche, the wealth niche is one of the most popular evergreen niches that you can build a business on. This is because there will always be people who want to know different ways to become wealthy. They want to know how to earn money online, how to grow their $1,000 into a $1 million, or how to invest in foreign exchange. As new technologies crop up, new ways of making money are coming up just as fast. Take, for instance, cryptocurrency. It's the hottest money-making machine on the market right now, though it's highly volatile. People are making huge sums of money off crypto. Thanks to the internet, there are a million different ways one can make money online and offline. Just remember that if you want your business to grow and last for a long time, you'd have to offer something of real value to your audience. A get-rich-quick scam can quickly destroy your reputation and your business. Number 3. Love Niche Relationships matter a lot to people. It's just how we humans are. We crave companionship, friendship, love, and contact with other people. You can capitalize on this by offering advice to your audience, be it dating advice, marriage advice, friendship advice, and so much more. You can even sell physical products if that's your thing. If you've got the programming skills and the budget, you can create a dating app or a dating website and get locals and maybe even people from abroad together.